Ah, yeah. Hey, been busy. I'd like to give a big shout out to Bob Slayer, my brother, coming the other day and helping me out, putting all this together. Yeah, things have changed. All the blueprints now have turned into solid buildings. We've got the house there. You're right near the entrance. Yeah, I've got a couple Christmas trees there. I've still got one there to finish. And so that's the old barn there. And bees are up there. So I've got the woodshed here. Been painting as well, trying to match that with the barns so in here we got the woodshed a bit of a storage area as well and there's some spare planks there and the cupboards there for the paint I've got another cupboard there I've got to to finish off and that's going to be another uh, paint store store me paint yeah, I've been busy trying to work out the colours here there's a floor. Okay, I'm trying to get this red, or burgundy type of colour to match the barns. So that's the wood stall. They even painted the chicken house to match the barns. And there's looking good hello I'll show you around what I've been up to or what me my brother was up to the other day I've made a video of us putting it all together I mean if, if you want me to if you want to have have a look you know I can upload you know just drop a link in the comments and I can upload it I've started in here I've got I still got paint the table and I've got the cupboard there to, to build I got more shelves and stuff to put in here yet this is going to be the egg house and the chickens are there and that's the egg house oh we've got a rain coming in have we that's typical that is it, it was raining when I got up this morning and I thought oh and then the sky cleared and I thought well it's going to be a nice day oh, all I can say is wishful thinking yeah Hopefully it won't last too long. So yeah, so that's the chicken house. I got to turn these around. I had these the wrong way round. That don't look too bad. I got another barn in here. Got a bit of a vent there. Couldn't put the door up. The fence is. Uh, too close to the door. But, uh, a bit of ventilation ain't gonna hurt. I yeah, got a small yard here. I'm not gonna keep, you know, if I kept, I'm just saying, if I just kept goats in there, I'll only have two, two or three. Uh, now you may be asked, oh, I'll show you this. As a bit of a race, as I would call it, or collecting pen, I can. I can put animals in here. I'm going to change this end. Yeah, I got a feed silo there and a water pump there. I'm going to change this fence into a gate. So I can put animals in here if I need to just to just to sort them out or I can use it as a walkway out to the back because uh, there isn't much. Well, I can get to the back up that way. Now you'll be wondering what's going on here. Now, this is what I call a catch pen. I've got the fence there, I've got a gate there, and I've got the second gate here. So, whatever I have in here, if I uh, close this one, you know, if I'm walking in here, and as I walk in, so something shoots out here it can't 
bolt up through the trees it'd be caught here so that's what that idea of that is another another small pen I started putting a water trough in here in the feed trough Now I've got some wood to finish that off, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, yeah, this one here. Yeah, we we'll do we we'll do because we I haven't finished yet. I mean, I've still got loads to do. I'll show you around. Yeah, I got uh, all the wood here to do that. So we we'll do we we'll put that together. And it's the same with this area here. This is another like what I call a catch pen but I can put animals in here I can you know if I bring up if I needed a you know a trailer or something I could bring them up here put them in here and then I can take them from here wherever which way they want to go or if they escape they can't go no further than this pen here so that's the idea of that and then I've got another uh, Another barn in here. And keep something in here. The idea of what the way I've done it is there's a lot of wood. It took me a lot of wood to cut all this to to, to do all this. But now I've you know I've only got the bees up the top. So all I had to do was well, didn't have to look after them, but I've been taking off honey every single day and I've got twelve frames. And 12 frames will make me um, £600 a day. So that's the money I've been using to, to build all this. And now this is built. I've still got loads, well, loads, but I've still got a lot to build. And, uh, but I can concentrate now on 50%, you know, on the animals and building. Yeah, I've got some pigs up here been up here now what a couple days three or four days something like that haven't been here long the same again I've got a little catch area here so the piglets get out and they can move too when they want to oh can't they run then if they if I'm, they manage to get through this gate I'm a bit slow shutting it or something. They're going to get caught in here. Yes, I I know. I know. I can hear you. So I've got three, three piglets. A couple pigs there. I've got ear tags in them, so I know which is which. Um, yeah, 01 and 02. My first and second pig. So this is like what I call a little catch area. Um, yeah, and I got the grain bin there, water pump there. Over here, this is the butcher's area. This is this going to be a butcher's shed. This here is um, what I call the holding area. This is the holding area here. I'll close that. The animals come in here and this is the holding area. And they've got a door here. And then we can walk into this here and this is going to be the butchery. For, uh, cut all the meat up into the right portions and you can cut up a bacon, pork chops. That all gets done in here. So this got to be built. We'll have a we'll have a go at that in a minute. We've got all the wood there. That's the that's the butchery. Um, what have I got left to do? Quite a bit actually. Um got a dairy I want to build a dairy 
and at some point I want to put a stable I want to put another barn oh I didn't show you this one um, this barn here this is definitely going to be dairy cows in here this is definitely going to be dairy cow and in here I got a store that needs finishing so the dairy cows are going to live in here the idea of the stall is that uh, I can keep the milking machine in here and a table and maybe a shelf or just a table so I can keep some spare ear tags but that's that's why well, I can keep some churns in here the milking machine can stay in here and then a table you know some spare ear tags if I need them uh, it's all to do with um, just the milk inside spare churns milking machine ear tags anything else I need this, so this is the biggest barn that we built so that's the idea of the store being there but like I say I'm not going to um, two, two dairy cows probably at the most so that that would be right for them Well, while we're up this end, actually, while we're up this end, what we can do is we can um, finish off, finish off all this, can't we? Now we're up here, we can, um, and I put that back to front. Oh. Nobody's going to see it. Only me and you, so... Yeah, if you want to... Um, you want to see the build... You know, just leave a comment and I will post it. But what I... Oh, this rain... Always rains at the wrong time, doesn't it? When you're hoping for a nice day, you get rained on. Right, is that it finished? Oh, not quite. Is that going to open? Yeah, that's right. That's finished. Yeah, I was saying, um, if you wanted to see the build, if you just leave a, a comment, and what I will do... Oh, I'm so sorry about this rain. Um, what I will do, is I'll post a video, but instead of what I normally do like just putting the title I'll put the title and then I'll put the build so you know which um, vid so you know which video it is I got did I have any yeah I have some more I've got wood there to pick up. I, I thought I had. I just. Oh, I put these the right way around. Wonders and never cease, eh? So, what's this back one, though? Wrong way, right way? Four. Oh. I excelled myself. Right. I've got plenty of wood here, this should be alright. Uh, floor's been done.
Uh, Start from the back. Work forward, I suppose. Would make sense. Oh, it's a little bit quieter in here. I should have enough and some to spare, I'm hoping. Some of the wood I'm going to use for um, did I, yeah, some of the wood um, I've got here is just for um, making the, the tables and um, the interior furniture oh it's stopping that's good a bit of peace and quiet from that rain all these bits I ain't forgot anything have I no they're looking all right I've got loads of wood. Right. Let's put this... Um, put that there. Yep. Yeah. Right. Paint. I didn't even check if I had enough. do some painting how's that looking I must remember to put the paint, paint pot on the floor. How many times have I tried to open a gate with a paint pot in my hand? Yeah, that's the that's all that done, isn't it? I think. Yeah, looks like I ain't missed any. <coughs> oh, sorry. Put that down there. I grab this one. Start here somewhere. the fence painted yep put that I'll put that in there try oh, one of 
them. Put that on there. The window's there. Oh, it's there. I knew there was a window here somewhere. In the door. Put that back up there. Uh, this one now. Oh, I... Missed the window. Now, now it's done. Right. Let's put this in here. Grab that pot. Let's uh, get down on my knees. I don't want to slip. You're painting the wrong one otherwise. You're painting the walls black. painting the fence if I do that. Right, now I can stand up. If I can. Whoa, stiff knees. Right. Roof. No. Roof. Well, I've done that roof. Oh, I know. No, that's outside, not inside. How did I? Oh. If I had a paint pot in my hand, it might help. I still got. Um, hopefully, I've got a black over here. Still got a sort. Still got bits in here. That's where I have been sleeping. Well, I was in the garage. That looks black to me. This looks black to me. Is it black? It's black. Yeah, if you remember, there used to be a concrete um, garage there. Uh, it's all been taken down. Right. Paint pot in my hand. Let's try. Oh, what am I doing? Paint pot in my hand. That's better. So that's the process that me and my brother was doing the other day. 
when we put all this up and then I'm going to uh, going to keep those trees so this may just be um, just a little bit of an area left like that and then here somewhere here I'm going to have a dairy because the milking cows are over there but I want to tie that butcher's shop come around and join up with that barn so I might leave those trees there well we'll we'll try to leave those trees there so I don't like cutting down trees if I can help it not around the yard I think it looks nice it's like come um, oh where is it over here I left that tree if I go through this way hello pigs yeah I know I left the tree there and uh, bit of a benefit for the pigs as well because they can uh, have a good old scratch on the tree that's their thinking behind that one I think well if I can they got something to scratch on and also it gives them a bit of a shade uh, a bit of shade these pigs don't like the sun Uh, yeah, so the dairy's going to go in here somewhere. Um, eventually I will keep a horse. I don't know if I'll have more than one. But eventually I will keep a horse. And I was thinking of putting the stable down. I don't know if it's going to fit. But I'd like the stable down here if possible down here where this old barn is, this is what I'm thinking I'll have to work out and see if it'll fit but I'd like the stable it's quite deep that that's quite deep I need a front I need a front and a back and a middle it might fit there the reason why I'd like the stable here the reason why I like the stable here is because out here in this paddock which at the moment is doing nothing out here in this paddock which is quite big this is where I like to put the um, I was going to say horse arena you know tr training area <laughs> I put the training area here and then the horse would be just there so I've only got to just come from there to here that's my thinking if it will fit I can come this way a little bit over here and then I just got the training area there that's what I'm thinking yeah, so that's the butchers up. Try to see so everything sort of blends in together and all looks the same. Oh, it's, oh, it's black paint there. Let me put that in here. Somewhere. Oh, up there, in it? Oh, that might be the one I had in my hand a minute ago. Uh -huh. Now... I can start keeping a few animals now. Now that part's done. And I say I got the dairy to build. I got all the utensils and shelving and tables and whatnot to go in here for the butchery. So that'd be my next job. It's where we do all the making the pork chops and the pork loins and the sausages and all that would be done in there then I gotta build a dairy then so we can make the cheeses and that would be over there 
Oh, I'm talking about... I just saw then. I forgot, I know. Running around with a pot of paint in my hand. How many is in that one? Eleven. Uh, I'll grab a full pot, actually. So it's all coming together. All coming together. i got to take this stuff out here. I keep forgetting what I've got and I haven't got when I don't come in here. Is that a full pot? Yeah. Take a full pot, but I don't want, so I don't know how many I've got to do. It's only... I saw a white fence. I thought that doesn't look right. What's going on? Forgot to paint it. No, I'll paint this one. Oh no, it's a gate. It's got to be black. I'll paint that one. And put the paint pot down. Now I can open the gate. Right. Paint. That's a gate there. Paint. Paint that. That's a gate. That's a gate. That's a fence. Which is... I say it's the wrong way round, but it, it matches that one, and I'm not demolishing that. I'm not going to change that. I'll let the pig see the pretty side of the fence. And that's a gate, that's a gate, that's a gate. Yeah, it's all coming together. I'm really, really pleased. Um, yeah, that's a gate, in it? Yeah. But now I can focus on, like I said, I can focus on um, looking after some animals now. Now the serious work starts. Uh, black paint. We made a start anyway, we got uh, two sows. Paint that, there's the gate. That's a gate. Yeah, if you if you realise what well, I got a gate up this end and I got a gate down this end. Why I don't why I put a gate up here I don't know. I thought it'd just be handy. It's quite a big pen. If I'm up this end, I could just go there instead of going all the way around. <coughs> oh sorry. Right, let's paint this. Um Paint that. Um, put that paint down. Have I rendered? Oh, I. Well, that was that was Andy. I didn't even check that. Run out of black paint. I just had enough just to finish. Oh, God, that was luck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased how it's all come together. I could have um, had a few animals, you know, at the start and just just done it that way. Could have started off with a few animals. But I mean, I started off just chasing rabbits catching rabbits for the hunter and, well, and go up there ev every other day 200 quid stick it in the bank come back here and then just spend all day cutting wood if you look uh, I'm on day 69 and I've just well I suppose it was 69 so you're probably looking for, like I say 60 day 65 is when I um day 60 day 65 Somewhere around there is when I bought the pigs. So, and then the bees. So I made enough money out of the rabbits to start the bees, and that's how it's gone on. Oh, this area here. I forgot to ex explain what's going on here. This is going to be the greenhouse. 
I'll have the door here going out this way but that's going to be the greenhouse there so that's going to be another build I'll get all the materials like I did over there for the butchery and next time you see me we, we can do that together so we, we can put that up I'll get all the materials so I think I've got to get glass for this one I, so and I cut, cut that grass too along the front there but I can put the materials down here at the front and then we can put that up together next time so that'd be the greenhouse didn't want nothing too big just grow a few a few bits and pieces it's plenty big enough enough to keep me busy but I want to just have a a bit of everything but at the same time be able to cope with a bit of everything if you see what I mean I don't want too much of one thing and then one thing gets de neglected I, d I didn't want that it's like chickens you know I'll probably have um, it's a night um, I'll probably only have about five chickens I like this idea here with these drawers that's handy that is that's where the eggs come out don't have to go in the chicken house just take the eggs and they got a little bit of a oh, talk about a little bit you can see I live here can't you you only have to walk around the, the place and you can see who lives here I miss that how I miss I don't know how I miss that actually I could paint that I could paint that black because these are these are doors. I like doors black. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a chicken run there. I should put the feeders here. I think feeders feeder one side and water the other side. That's what I should do. Yeah, it don't take much working out who lives here just by walking around. Bits done, you know. Bits left and not finished. Yeah, it's really handy. That is. Don't know. Can I get in there? I ain't even tried. Oh, I can. I was just wondering because I need need probably get in here to to clean them out. Well, look at the time. It's seven o'clock at night, and it's getting dark all of a sudden. Let's go in. Um, let's let's go indoors. I got a light up there. Yeah, I'm ahead. Light the porch up. And a light in here. And I got a light over here somewhere in the kitchen. Yeah. Just a bit brighter. That's all. Bulbs are. These bulbs are a bit dim. So I put a strip light up here and then put a strip light up there. Or tube lighting. We've got tube lighting there and a tube light there. Lights this whole area up. Yeah. I've got to go up now and do the bees. And normally I start doing them about five o'clock. Time's gone away with me. Or gone away from me, not yeah, time's gone away from me. Five o'clock every night. Well between five and six I'm up there doing doing the bees. Well, a couple hours miss won't you know well a couple hours late won't hurt them. Yeah. I'm just well, so I'm going up there. Oh I'm gonna have a quick cup of tea, I think, while I'm here. And now I'm gonna go up there and do the bees. Just like to say thanks for watching. And take care.